How to set up your own mid-journey server. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you guys how you can create your own mid-journey server. So let's get into it. Now mid-journey is a amazing AI that enables you to create artificially generated art. You can create any kind of art that you want with a simple text prompt. It can generate anything for me. So I can write, can you generate a candle stand, a aesthetic picture of a candle stand and will do that for me i can ask it to generate a vintage japanese art style uh, retro image and it will generate that for me so it's a super powerful ai and you can create your own server just like this and only work on your own stuff in it and i will show you guys step by step how you can do that so to get started you have to click on midjourney.com just go on to midjourney.com click on join the beta on the bottom right once you do that, a Discord server invite will open up. You will click on accept invite. Obviously, I have already logged on to my Discord account on this specific uh, device. If you don't have Discord already, you will have to create Discord. So once you're on the mid-journey servers and you've been added, you guys can see on the left side of your screen, you have multiple different sections. Now, to build your own server of, with the Midjourney bot and to be able to set up, you know, your own server, do your own work, not have to, you know, work in these rooms where there are so many other people and your art can get lost. Well, all you have to do is just click on any of these. It doesn't really even matter. Once you click on it, you want to click on the Midjourney bot on the right side of your screen. Then you want to click on Add to Server. Then you can select your own private server. So it's better if you pre-create your server. So you're just going to go into the left side of your screen, click on add a server, create my own for me and my friends. And then I will just rename the server to personal mid journey server and I will click on create. Now this empty server has been created. I can choose to create text channels, but I really don't need them. So now what I'm going to do is go back into the mid journey server, click on the mid journey bot from the right side of my screen. Click on add to server, select my personal mid journey server from here, click on continue and you will allow it all these permissions. Then you want to click on authorize, click on I'm a human and just like that it has been authorized. Now if I go into my personal mid journey server, the mid journey bot is here and if I type in slash, I can add any of the mid journey prompts that I normally would add on the basic mid journey server. So one thing to note is mid journey is no longer available for free. So you can't really get a free version of mid journey. You have to go with any of their plans. Uh, the monthly billing starts at $10 per month with the basic plan where you have limited generations. So you can generate around approximately 200 images a month. Then you also have uh, general commercial terms, access to member gallery, optional credit top ups and three concurrent fast jobs. Then you have the standard plan starting at $30 per month where you have 15 hours of fast generation and unlimited relaxed generations. And then the pro plan where you get 30 hours of fast generation and unlimited relaxed generations plus you also get the stealth image generation. Now this is something a lot of people don't know. But if you go on to mid journey, so I'm just going to go on to mid journey and I sign into my account over here. You should know that all of the art that you create on mid journey is available to the public. So you can go into the explore feed. You can find so many different art images of, you know, all the images people are generating. But your own images are also going to be publicly available. So the prompt that you've entered, all of that is publicly available. If you want to make sure that your images are private, you don't want to, anyone to be able to view your prompt or images. This can be for commercial reasons, for personal reasons, if you're doing it with your own images or if you're trying to create something super creative for a business and you don't want anyone else to be able to see it. Then you can use these uh, pro version and the pro plan starts at $60 a month, but you get a 20% discount on the yearly billing. So you can get it for $48 a month. And what this will enable you to do is turn on stealth mode. So stealth mode basically uh, allows you to create as many images as you want, and they won't be available on the mid journey uh, explore pages or anywhere 
other than yourself so only you can view those images and no one else can currently this is my gallery my personal mid journey gallery and all of these images are available to the public to see if they want to but if I want to make them private, I can upgrade my plan. And then once you upgrade your plan, you can just type in slash slash stealth. And then this will enable you to turn on the stealth version. Currently, my plan does not have it, so I cannot turn it on. But that is just one thing to know when you're working on Midjourney, because when people think that they are working on a separate server, they think that their images are also separate or, you know, their images are also private. Well, that is not the case. Now, another thing to keep in mind when you are using Midjourney is when you're working on a separate server, you can even upload your own images. So one thing to keep in mind whenever you're using Midjourney is that when you're using a separate server and you're uploading your own images those are private so that is one thing you should keep in mind only the generated image by the AI is the one that's going to be publicly available and to do that is very simple and easy if you want to uh, not just create images from a prompt but you want to take a existing image and edit from that just click on this icon this plus icon on the bottom right Click on upload a file, go into your downloads and just upload whichever file you want. So let's say I want to take this one and I will just enter, just upload it normally. Then you can just click on the image, click on open in browser. Now to edit this with Midjourney, I'm going to go back into my Midjourney server and I will just type in slash slash imagine. And then you want to go into the image and the image that we've opened up. You want to copy this URL and paste it over here. Once you do that, you can just add whatever you want Midjourney to do with this image. So let's say I want to reimagine this with a Japanese retro background. Or let's say I want to reimagine this with a castle in the background. So I'm just entering this prompt and what you need to know is this image, the one that you upload is private. That is not going to be available to the public, but the image that is going to be generated via the Midjourney bot, it's going to take a couple of seconds and look at the uh, generated image as well. But the generated image is what's going to be available for other people to see. So if you have no issues with that, you can set up your own private server and you don't really need to upgrade to the stealth mode. It says invalid link, so I will have to uh, copy the image. I will have to open it up in my browser. Click on copy. We're going to go into Discord again. Imagine this image. And you can, uh, you know, put any kind of uh, private server. You can upload your images onto any private server and copy the link of the image. From there to uh, generate with Midjourney to recreate with Midjourney as well. So this is how you can set up your own private Midjourney server and how you can enable stealth mode if you want to keep all of your generated images privated as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.